Joining me now to talk more is Wyoming's Republican Senator John Barrasso, also a member of the GOP leadership team and chair of the Republican Policy Committee. Sir, it's great to have you with me, and we showed there uh, Harry Reid talking this morning from the floor. I just want to play this about what Harry Reid is describing going on there in our nation's capital. This is in a high school getting ready for a football game or some play that's being produced at high school. This is, we're trying to confirm somebody to run the defenses of our country. Sir, you told my colleague Chris Jansing earlier this week that you would be a no vote on Hegel. Do you stand by that, and if so, why? Yes, you know, anyone that saw the confirmation here knows that, uh, that uh, Chuck Hagel's presentation was weak and wobbly, and Democrats are very embarrassed by this nominee, but they feel committed to have to stand with the president in spite of the fact that they're not very happy with the choice either. Uh, we have just asked for some additional legitimate answers to questions about income of uh, Chuck Hagel some speeches he's given. So we say, let's just delay the vote a week until we get back from the, the president's uh, weekend uh, and come back and then vote at that time when we get this additional information. So you're That's comfortable with Leon for. Panetta stepping down in the country not having a secretary of defense? Well, that's a decision by Leon Panetta. I'm not comfortable with Chuck Hagel as Secretary of Defense, so we've asked legitimate questions for information, uh, and there is no reason to have to rush the vote through tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but it is coming, though, because a cloture uh, file was submitted by Harry Reid. Uh, do you think, uh, I mean, you said that the Democrats are embarrassed, but is it really Republicans that are embarrassed to support one of their own because Chuck Hagel did not support the Iraq surge? Is this basically trying to settle an old score? Well, I don't see it that way at all. I think you took a look at uh, Chuck Hagel's entire history in terms of his uh, opposition to sanctions against Iran, uh, different things that he's written about disarmament, including unilateral disarmament in terms of nuclear weaponry. So I think that he is the wrong person for this position. And anyone that watched those uh, the hearings in just the past week knows that this man is not prepared to be Secretary of Defense in terms of making sure that we as a nation remain uh, strong and able to defend ourselves in all situations. Even though in his testimony he says America has and must maintain the strongest military in the world, that we must lead the international community to confront threats and challenges together, and that we must use all tools of American power to protect our citizens and our interests. Do you think that he was lying? No, I just think that Chuck Hagel has a long history of supporting whatever happens to be popular at the time. Uh, wherever people are looking for something, he's going to provide that, which is why we want to see some of these speeches that he's given, some of the sources of income that he's received, so we can say, okay, he may say this on one day, but look what he said on another day. Sir, I want to get your uh, on, on the record take uh, about Wayne LaPierre going to give uh, an official NRA response to the President's State of the Union. He did put out an op-ed, though, in the Daily Caller in which he says after Hurricane Sandy we saw the hellish world that the gun prohibitionists see as their utopia. Looters ran wild in South Brooklyn. There was no food, water, or electricity. And if you wanted to walk several miles to get supplies, you better get back before dark or you might not get home at all. Do you support his position and how he wants to describe what it means to have gun violence regulation in this country to basically scare people into thinking that we all need to be packing? Well, I think we take, need to take a couple of steps back and say, let's have the votes in the United States Senate that the president has asked for. Let's have an open debate on that whole uh, issue. But again, the president's going to need to talk to Harry Reid about that because I, I believe that Harry Reid is not going to bring to the floor for a vote or an open discussion or debate a number of these issues because he has a number of members who are running as Democrats for the Senate uh, in just two years. Uh, and uh, they're from states where the president uh, is continues to be very unpopular and he does not want those Senate candidates to have to choose between the president and their own constituents who oppose what the president is proposing. Republican Senator from Wyoming, John Barrasso. Sir, thanks for your time this morning. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Want to bring in